you know, I, I've been a Wisconsin sports fan for a really long time. You know, I love the teams that play in the state. And, you know, for all the times that I have been disappointed and heartbroken and whatever, this one's pretty surprising to me. So the Brewers finally get a good roll going. They've won five in a row, and they may very well continue that. I mean, they've been, they're going to be playing some really t- terrible teams over the next few weeks. But what are the odds that our best player fouls a ball off his kneecap, walks off the field, and then later we find out he broke his damn knee? How does that happen? I don't understand. That's just, the the odds of that are unbelievably low. Like, it's got to be like 1 in like 5,000 or 1 in 10,000 chance that that happens. Maybe higher, I don't know. I'm not a statistics major, I don't know. But the odds of that happening are just so goddamn low. And for, of course, it happens to us right, right when we're getting hot. And, you know, it's not even just that. It's like, Yelich, now that he's out for the season, he doesn't have a chance at 50-30 season. He does not, he's not going to have a chance at the MVP anymore. I mean, it, it, he's not able to, he's not going to be able to keep pace with everybody else now because he's going to have to miss the last few weeks of the regular season. And, you know, with what happened to Jimmy Nelson a few years ago, with how great he was that year, I'm just so nervous and concerned like, what the impact might be. Like, I don't know how much of an impact breaking your knee has on your game. I mean, obviously, you can't play baseball with a broken knee, but, like, going forward, is that going to be, like, something that's always nagging, or is that going to be always an area of concern, or is that going to, like, hint, like limit his play going forward? Like, I mean, and for it to happen to, you know, such a great player. Christian Yelich is a great player. That guy... Assuming that he's able to, you know, be healthy and throughout his career for the most part, will be in the Hall of Fame. Like, and you don't get Hall of Fame baseball players often. Like, uh, for all that we complain about, like, like Hall of Good, not Fame players getting in in like the NFL and the NBA, the 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 pro, the pro baseball Hall of Fame, the MLB Hall of Fame, Cooperstown, it's really really strict. It's hard to get into that. It's really hard to get into that Hall of Fame. And when you say a player is a Hall of Famer, they are legit a Hall of Famer. Like, even without the steroids, you know, if they just threw that out, Ryan Braun probably wouldn't even be able to make it. And that guy has been, like, insane his entire career. So, like, it just sucks. It sucks for the Brewers. It sucks for the fans. It sucks for Yelich. It sucks for baseball that they lose such a great player especially in the waning weeks of the season when the Brewers are making a push. I mean, I just, it, it's awful. It's just, I, there, I can't imagine a worse scenario right now. And yeah, I mean, there's still an outside chance the Brewers make the playoffs, by the way. I mean, they, they're still doing pretty well, and I still think that they'll be able to do pretty well without Yelich. But like, I mean, just, just the impact that a, having a player like that on your team has, it's just... It's insurmountable. Like, you just can't replace it. Like, as good as Trent Grisham has been this year, as excited as I, as I am to see what he becomes for the Brewers, he, he's not ever going to be anywhere near the level that Yelich is. And it sucks because taking a player like that out of the lineup, it's just it, it's detrimental to the team. It, it sucks. And, you know, I mean, with, with Yelich, you know, as good of a player as he is, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just awful. And, you know, as, as I, I was really excited to see, you know, the end of the season, too. Like, see how, like, even if the Brewers weren't going to make the playoffs, I was still, you know, going to watch. Obviously, I'm a Brewers fan. But also, I was excited to see, you know, is Yelich going to make it to 50-30? Never been done before. And he he's not going to have a chance anymore. And that sucks. He's not, he can't help the team anymore. That sucks. And now, like, what do you do? Where do you go? forward from here like even if the Brewers make the playoffs let's say they even win the wild card game then you don't have your best player Christian Yelich in a series with the Los Angeles Dodgers I mean it's just it's so terrible because this season as 
as up and down as it's been, still could have gone places, and now it just feels like it's all over. Even though we're on a five-game win streak, it just it's all over with that, with just that. And that's, I, I, I just can't believe it. And when, it, when, when that happened, by the way, when Yelich fouled that ball off his knee, you know, this is actually a kind of funny story. Um, I was watching with my sister. My sister doesn't really watch a lot of sports. Um, she doesn't really know that well. Uh, but I remember her asking me, is he going to be all right? And I said, yeah, he'll probably be all right. It's not like he broke his knee or anything. I said that. And when I got the notification that, you know, he was out for the season, I, I couldn't believe it. I just, it didn't, like, the way he walked off, you know, I, I felt like maybe at most he misses a couple games and then he's back in the lineup. But breaking your knee, I, I can't imagine how painful that is, too, because, like, your kneecap, that's like, there's a lot of nerves there. Like, oh, my God. Like, I can't imagine the pain that Yelich was in when he fouled that ball off his knee. I I mean, that's crazy. And, you know, it, even if he didn't break his knee, you know, it's still a super painful experience. But, um, yeah, it sucks. And as, as much as I want to try and remain optimistic, and I know that it's been hard for me at times this season, you know, without Christian Yelich, the Brewers, where do the Brewers go? It just, it, it just, I, where do they go, you know? Like, who do they turn to? Like, obviously their offense can still be productive, but, I mean, just the threat of having Yelich there and the, the boost that he brings your team is just, and, you know, you can't just think of it in, like, black and white terms, you know, with, with the the value that he brings on offense. It's also, you know, how detrimental is it to the to the clubhouse, you know, not having a player like that, having your best player out for the season like that. Like, just the significance of that blow, like, how does that mess with your morale? Like, I just don't know. And the, you know, I have a bad feeling that it's going to affect us negatively. And the, the team is not going to respond too well to this injury, you know, and it, it, I, I totally get it. I mean, that's it's awful, but unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it until you know, wait till next year, and hopefully, he's all right. Hopefully, he he remains the same player. That's what I'm really worried about right now. Um, is whether or not Yelich can be the same player that he was. I mean, I that that's the concern with Jimmy Nelson, you know. And I remember when that Jimmy Nelson injury happened, and that was like. That was one of the weirdest things that I've ever seen. I mean, it was just like the guy, he, he, he ran back to the base and he pinched a nerve. And, it, and then all of a sudden he was out for a full year with that. That was just the weirdest thing ever. And, and then, and then he, he, when he finally comes back, he's like a shell of his former self. He can't pitch the baseball for for anything he's, he's awful and you know just I'm just so concerned you know what if what if this is something that that lingers what if it's something that keeps Yelich out for more than we want and then when he comes back what if he's not the same player like I know I, I'm kind of thinking on the negative side here but it, it's something that's crossing my mind right now it's like how, what what if that actually happens you know I mean the Brewers franchise player is Christian Yelich if Christian Yelich can no longer be Christian Yelich, then where does the franchise go? What happens? Is it over? Do we have to rebuild again? Maybe. I mean, obviously this is thinking way into the future. This is like uh, the next year, few years or so we're talking about. And obviously that's a more negative viewpoint, but I, it's something that crossed my mind. And, you know, as a Wisconsin sports fan, having dealt with, you know, a lot of, of disappointment and heartbreak, you know, it's cer certainly something that's going to cross my mind, you know, and I'm sure you guys understand, but uh, yeah, it's, it's awful, but anyways, that's all I can say about it, I mean, it's just, it's, I mean, like, if, if you sum it up in one word, just awful, it's an awful situation for everybody, so hopefully, you know, the Brewers can continue to stay hot, and hopefully they finish the season on a strong note maybe make the playoffs and it is baseball we'll see where it goes from there if they do but um in the meantime guys thanks for watching uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below how are you feeling after 
uh, that disappointing news, that um, really awful news about Yelich. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Brewers.